Hey, what's up guys? You're watching Theojo Tech, and in this video, I'm gonna be discussing CDNs, content delivery networks, and why they are relevant and important to know about if you run a website, if you're interested in starting a website. Everyone should know what these are, so you know whether or not you need one, and I would go and argue that probably everyone needs one just with the state of the internet today. So let me get into what I mean by that. So let's just jump right in. There are a couple examples of CDNs you may be familiar with already. Cloudflare, Encapsula, Akame, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. All these do essentially the same thing. In a nutshell, what a CDN does is it basically puts kind of a buffer between your website and anyone trying to access it. So what you do is kind of redirect your DNS records through the CDN. So people who are accessing your website don't necessarily directly interact with your website server. They first have to go through this CDN. And there are a lot of benefits for this, not just for security, but also performance. So let's get into those as well. First, let's talk about how this would improve performance. Now, you may have heard of something called caching. What this basically does is instead of people having to go and retrieve from your website every time they wanna visit it, what the CDN does is saves a snapshot of your website, and then if someone or a lot of people wanna to go to your website, instead of having to send a lot of requests and your website has to serve up all these requests to give the website out, the CDN kind of holds that snapshot in its server, and then every time someone comes to look at the website, it's like, oh yeah, we have a copy of that, nothing's changed, let's just show them the cached copy, so it takes a lot of load off your server. Also, that's beneficial for people who are distributed all around the globe. So say your website is stored in, I don't know, the United States, in the Western United States, but you're getting visitors all across the globe. Then the CDN will actually have cached versions of your websites stored on servers all around the globe. They might have one in the UK, in Canada, in South America. So what will happen is instead of people having to send a request all the way to your home server or the, the website's main server, it'll go to the nearest CDN server and get that cached copy instead of having to go all the way to your server, which is going to increase the responsiveness and imp improve the performance of your website. So as a quick summary, the two main performance benefits is it's gonna be decreased latency because you're going to a physically closer location to get the website content. And also, if there's a lot of people visiting the website, there's lower load on it because it's not going directly to the server, so it's gonna be an improved speed that way. As a side note, the CDN may occasionally direct the person to go directly to your server if there's stuff that's not static or it changes a lot, then that could be an instance where it wouldn't get a cached copy, but for the most part, you're gonna see an improvement. The next benefit of getting a CDN is for security. Now, like I said, there's a buffer between your website and the person or a bot, for example, so you get a little bit of extra protection, especially if the CDN has what's called a WAF, Web Application Firewall, which most of them do offer this service, although they do differ in the actual quality of that firewall. Another benefit for security is DDoS protection, but let me get into the firewall first and then I'll explain how that works. So with the firewall, as I kind of explained before, the CDN provides a buffer between the person or bot and your website. So what it can actually do is filter out malicious requests from ever reaching your website in the first place. So this is really beneficial in multiple ways, and this is what I would say is even more beneficial in terms of security than the performance benefits you're gonna get because there are so many hackers out there, so many bots. Your website is under attack right now from lots of bots just snooping around, especially if you have a WordPress website. There are bots that just go out and search for different WordPress websites that people host and forget about and try to find vulnerabilities that they can access and then use that as a bot to run botnets and that sort of thing. So what you do when you get a CDN with a firewall service is it's gonna block a lot of those bad bots. It's going to be able to detect 
some vulnerabilities like if there is, I don't know, some directory that's known to be a vulnerability and a bot tries to go to it, that's not gonna be allowed to access that. And the firewall may not necessarily just protect against incoming attacks, but I know Encapsula as part of their firewall offers a service that detects outgoing messages and tries to see if they're viruses. So if you have a virus hiding in your website that you don't know about, it'll say, wait a minute, this message that's coming out from this file in this one directory looks like a phone home request from a bot or something like that. So it'll notify you, look, you have a virus in your website right here, so you can go delete it and it'll block that bot from accessing anything else. So if your website's already been compromised, you can find out about it that way. So it's good for multiple directions, not just incoming attacks, but also attacks you've already been exposed to. The second main benefit I would say for security is the DDoS protection. A lot of times this costs extra, so I wouldn't necessarily pay for the extra DDoS protection unless you are susceptible to it or you've been DDoSed in the past, but CDNs do offer that protection. So what happens is if someone sends a ton of requests to your website, they're actually sending it to the CDN, that buffer, not directly to your website so it can be filtered out. And what will happen is these content delivery networks like Cloudflare and Capsula, they have these huge distribution server networks that can absorb huge, enormous denial of service attacks so your website will be unaffected if you set it up right, of course. So that's another benefit if your website gets taken down a lot. A lot of times that's why you'll see uh, a Cloudflare thing come up. If you've ever seen that, oh, Cloudflare is analyzing your website, that's because it may be under attack and it has to check whether or not you are a bot that's attacking that website. Now, Encapsula actually doesn't need to do that splash page. I actually use Encapsula on my website. That's the one I would recommend. This isn't sponsored or anything because from what I've read about, I don't know how much Cloudflare has improved their security, but I've seen several different reports, at least two, where Encapsula blew Cloudflare out of the water in terms of the security and vulnerability protection for their firewall. And yes, Cloudflare will protect you against some stuff, but Encapsula also doesn't need to do that splash page. It's all automatic with a much lower failure rate. So if you're looking at a CDN, I would personally recommend Encapsula at least to check out. And maybe Cloudflare improved their security recently, but that's all I can say from my experience. I would recommend getting some CDN if you're running a website that you rely on at all. If you just wanna have peace of mind that you don't wanna get hacked, that sort of thing. It's not that expensive. Some of the uh, CDNs offer free services like Cloudflare, I think will block out some bots. Encapsula has a free version. But if you're someone who runs a website and you're making more than that, it's definitely worth the money. And if you are hiring someone to make a website, ask about it if they can set up a CDN for you. So that's pretty much it. I thought I would just bring this to you guys' attention. If I made any mistakes, <laughs> be sure to tell me in the comments section. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Or if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Or if you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right-hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link, like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I think it should be worth it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Have a good one.